Good afternoon, groovy citizens of Earth, and happy Friday. Y'all, it is finally Friday. The weekend is here. Now, when I tell you that I am feeling myself right about now, if y'all hearing this, this weird noise, it's actually the wind. I don't know why it just got windy all of a sudden, and my sunroof is open, so the wind is blowing. It's 55 degrees out. The sun is out. I actually had to cut the heat down. And I cut it off because it was getting too warm. So that's what that noise is in case you hear it. But anyway, when I tell y'all I am feeling myself, hunty, please know I am feeling myself. So I just got my hair done. My stylist, Miss Keisha, is thebomb.com. So I got me a perm, y'all. Look at that. And look at this, all this new growth. Come on now, stop playing. It's hard to believe that, what, three, four years ago, my hair was, I told y'all, this long because we had cut it all off. And look how it's grown back out. So I am truly excited. So y'all, let me tell you something. So like I said, I got an, a perm today. I got a fresh perm. And what I love about it is when I get a fresh perm, I love how my edges are nice and smooth because I do have some gray around the edges. It's all right. I, I love my gray. I embrace it. I'm not mad about it. It is what it is. But if you know anything about gray hair, it tends to be a little more coarse than the rest of your hair. So once the perm starts to grow, and my edges seem to grow really fast, so a fresh perm, for me on the edges anyway, lasts about maybe a good three weeks, and then it's getting a little, a little sketchy, a little dicey, if you will. But nothing that a little uh, gel or some slick won't uh, cure. So anyway, y'all, I'm feeling myself today. It's Friday, girlfriend's got this cute hair going on. So, now, my topic for today, y'all, I could not wait to share this with you, but let me let me set let me set the scene for it. Let me set the scene. So I woke up this morning and I had an email. I was just kind of glancing through my emails. And I saw an email from someone who said, I just wanted to let you know that I enjoy watching your videos. Um, I enjoy your motivation. And I don't remember if it was a, a male or female, to be honest, which I really don't because I, was, I had to read it quick. But when I go home, I'm actually going to respond to the email. And the individual said that they were, you know, 50, they're, they're, they're in their late 50s. Let me just say that. And they're just kind of feeling stuck. And so they wanted to know if we could have a conversation, you know, just to talk about that. And y'all know I'm always open for conversation. So, like I said, I'm going to go home and respond to the email and send my calendar link so that we can set up a free 30 minute, you know, call because I do like to, I, I told y'all I care. When I say I care, it's not just lip service I'm giving you. I truly care about people and where they are. Now, granted, I can't help everybody for free because, I mean, I have to eat too, right? So I do like to to give an initial call to talk about what's going on and see how we can, you know, work together to fix whatever the issue may be that you are having. So I'm going to do that as soon as I get home. It's my first order of business. So because of that email that I read, it made me decide to talk about today's topic, which is how to reinvent yourself. And so I came up with eight topics and a bonus. And the bonus is just going to floor you, okay? So let's jump right in. So I, I just kind of made some notes and I said, you know, being or feeling stuck in life is one of the worst places to be. And that is so true. And and it's, um, it's in these times that you feel like you're going nowhere fast. And I know we all have experienced that where you just feel like you're moving but you're not going anywhere. It's, it's like, it's, it's just like being on a treadmill. You know, you get for those of you that, that like to run and or jog on a treadmill. It's like, you, you know, on a treadmill, you're running, you're moving, but you're really going nowhere because you're just on that pad that's moving, but you're getting in that cardio, right? And that's how life can be or can feel sometimes. And so I said, here are some ways that you can reinvent yourself. So number one, I said, create a plan for your life. And I've talked about this before when I said that if you don't have a map, there's no way that you can get someplace you've never been because you don't have a road map to get there. So you've got to create a plan for your life. And I just said, write down your goals and what your new life will look like. 
and and i can't tell you what that's going to look like only you can decide what that's going to look like number two i said write down the things that are going good in your life right now see it's easy to to get caught up in what's not going well what's not working where you aren't and forget about what's going good so i want you to kind of move away just a little bit from what it is that you want to change and write down and list out those things and be as specific as possible that are going well for you in your life right now and if you tell me that nothing is going well that's a problem because everybody has something that's going well in their life number three i said take things one day at a time and y'all guess what rome was not built in a day your house was not built in a day it doesn't even matter if you if you were living in a prefab. It was not built in a day. It took some time to put all that stuff together. So take things slow, live one day at a time. Because see, what happens is, is that we look at other people's lives and we look at that plan that we created and we want to we want to hurry up and get to the end you know we want to get to the to the finish line and that's just not the way life works number four i said get rid of your physical clutter come on now some of y'all have some physical clutter in your life that you need to get rid of so i need you to take one room at a time and just get rid of physical clutter physical clutter in case you're not sure what that is it's anything that no longer serves a purpose in your life it's that stuff that you've been holding on to forever and a day but you don't use it you haven't used it in forever so just get rid of it i'm not saying you have to throw it away donate it if you choose to sell it at a flea market whatever just get rid of it because it serves no purpose in your home anymore or in your life period so that could be in your office it could be in your car it could be in in your home your room maybe you have a specific room i don't know doesn't even really matter whatever that is start to declutter and then number five i said get rid of your emotional clutter just like we have physical clutter in, in, in wherever, you know, in our surroundings, we have some emotional clutter. Come on, somebody, that we need to get rid of. So I need you to sit down and just like you put pen to paper to create what you want your life to look like once you, you know, get back on track, I need you to sit down and write down those things that are, are creating emotional clutter. What is emotional clutter, Michelle? Well, I'm glad you asked. Emotional clutter, again, it's stuff that no longer serves a purpose in your life. Emotional clutter is, is constantly thinking about that last relationship. It's, it's constantly thinking about that last job. It's constantly thinking about people that you've cut off for whatever reason. That's emotional clutter. It's, it's, it's worrying about not being good enough based on somebody else's standard of uh, standards of course and and that that's just that's all emotional clutter i need you to just get rid of it let it go okay number six learn to become uncomfortable mm, y'all this is a big one and i just made a little note that says you get stuck when you get comfortable y'all know what i'm talking about where there is no challenge there is no need to change. So I need you to, to get uncomfortable. So as long as you stay in an environment where you're comfortable, there's no reason for you to change. Why? Because you're comfortable where you are. So I need you to get uncomfortable. And number seven, make some changes in your life. Look to see what can be eliminated, what can be changed, or add it to your life to make you a better, a better person. So again, you've got to look at your life and say, okay, what is it that I can get rid of? Because, so we got rid of the emotional clutter and the, the physical clutter, but what else in your life can you get rid of? Sometimes you have some family members or some friends, come on somebody that you need to cut off because they're not helping you grow in any way shape or form they're adding no value to your life and so you've got to, to to just make some changes in your life and i think sometimes we get caught up in because um, y'all know like the air quote air quote in the routine of life we get up every morning i'm gonna say at 6 30 and you're 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 having breakfast by 7 30 and eight o'clock you're starting your work day and 
Um, maybe at lunchtime you go to the gym and then in the evening as soon as you finish your work day you check your email your personal email and you 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 write up your notes of things that, or a list of things to do for the next day but you have a set routine and the people closest to you they know that they know what your routine is because you do it all the time all the time nothing ever changes so i need you to start making some changes it's just like when you when you take a route home you know i remember years ago they talked about if you're a single woman you know you might want to vary your route to going home because you just never know who's following you why because your routine is the same you never do anything different so it's easy for people to figure out your routine because you are doing the same things at the same time on the same days of the week change it up and number eight i said take things one day at a time don't feel like you have to change overnight don't overwhelm oh don't overwhelm yourself thinking that you have to make changes happen overnight. And again, sometimes people get themselves all worked up and get, get their knickers in a twist. Yes, I like to say that because they feel like that change, bam, has to happen in a flash. It doesn't. And more times than not, that's you thinking that you need to change overnight because you can't wait for everybody to see this new you. My hair, as it looks right now, didn't look like this earlier today. It didn't look like this yesterday and it didn't look like this uh, week before uh, last week but it didn't change it wasn't an overnight process I had to wait until it was my day to go get my hair done to change it so I'm just saying stop thinking that you have to change overnight and then here's your bonus y'all here's your bonus and on that note I'm gonna put on my seat belt so I can start driving on home your bonus is this I need you to pray I need you to pray. When you start to feel like you are just getting stuck in life, I need you to pray. And that's when I really need you to pray the hearts. Now, you should be praying every day. However, and because when you feel like you are stuck and you just, you know, you feel like, God, I just, I'm spinning my wheels. I'm going nowhere fast. And, and it seems like everybody around you is moving ahead but you. That's when I need you. Don't you pull out here. I'm trying to tell y'all. Snatch that man bald. Um, mm, I digress. But but I, that's when you need to pray the most. See, I don't know about you all, but I call on God in those times where, where I'm feeling uncertain. I, I call on God on those time, in those times when I just feel like I'm stuck. When I feel like, you know, Lord, I want to move forward, but I'm not sure exactly how to do that i call on god when i take two steps forward but i get pushed back for i don't give up but i do call on god come on somebody so hopefully something that i shared with you helps you all to to begin to reinvent yourself because here's my concern here's my huge concern if you are still in the same place now that you were last year and god forbid that you were the year before last that's a problem that is a huge problem you have got to make some changes and until you decide to do something different until you decide that that you need to do something different because see let me close this because the, also the other problem is this a lot of times people on the outside can see that you need to change but you don't see it and that's interesting but it happens it's interesting but it does happen so again y'all it's time for all of us to reinvent ourselves i'm going to put the the tips that i gave you in the description box y'all hold on let me take a sip don't judge me because i don't judge you i stopped on my way to get my hair done to get me a breakfast burrito because i had to take my medicine and i need something to drink so don't judge me but um, hopefully something that I shared with you today will resonate with you it'll allow you to meditate on it and decide that you are ready to reinvent yourself and give you some steps to take now I'm not saying that the steps that I'm giving you is an end-all be-all to getting your life together but what I am saying is this is a great place to start so if you're new to watching my videos I want to say welcome 
If this is not your first rodeo, I want to say welcome back. I missed you guys. It's so good to see you again. Y'all know I love you to the moon and back, and there's nothing you can do about it. Go out there, enjoy the rest of your day on purpose, and have an amazing weekend. Talk to you tomorrow.